Recently, Ubiquiti introduced a very useful feature in the Unified Network application. So if you go to Insights, you can see this flows tab. By default, you can see all the blocked network flows. For example, I already defined a block inter-VLAN firewall policy in the lower part VLAN 66 machine. Let me try to ping VLAN 88 machine and ping it three times. Of course, all three tries failed, right? Then in the flows, let me refresh. See, you see this new flow added. The source is this VLAN 66 machine. Destination is the IP address I use for VLAN 88. Here you can see all the details about why this flow was blocked. It's a very handy feature, very useful. However, if you try to customize it, you go to settings, under Cybersecure, go to the traffic logging, and it's configured here. You may see this very confusing message here. It says add storage to enhance logging retention, but it doesn't explain the new storage is used for what exactly. For this lab environment, if I show you the control plane and the storage, you can see I don't have any hard drive installed. That's exactly what this storage means here. And then for the flow logging, if you try to flip on the all traffic, you can imagine why default is blocked traffic only. Because if you enable all traffic, tons of data will be saved in the system. That's exactly why Ubiquiti puts a statement here suggesting you to add storage. Let's see what the so-called add storage really does and why it will help us when it comes to flow logins. Okay, before doing that, let me show you where the flow is stored in the system. In my previous video about syslog deep dive, I explained how the logs are stored in MongoDB in Unify Gateway. In this video, I will directly show you the flow data. Let me SSH into the UDM Pro first, run Mongo using port 27117 to connect to MongoDB. Then let me show you what databases we have. Yeah, six of them. The flow login is inside this ACE audit database. So let me use this database. Okay, then let me show you the collections. You may know MongoDB is not traditional relational database. When we say collections in MongoDB, basically you can relate it to tables in relational database. When we say documents in MongoDB, you can relate to records in relational database. So let me run show collections. There's only one. Then let me see how many records we have in total. Totally three to one documents. If I go back to flow display, if I try to say one month of data, here you can see in total, I have three to one flows exactly match, right? But if you want to see the blocked flow we just generated from VLAN 66 to VLAN 88, we can query the database in this way. What I'm saying is let me search using this filter destination.ip equals to the one I just used for the VLAN 88 machine. Let me first see how many documents I have. Yeah, just one. Perfect. Then let me show the details in a formatted way. So you see all the details about this flow. It should have all the information you see on the UI. So this is how the data is stored in the ACE audit database in MongoDB in the traffic flow collection. At this moment, it only stores the blocked flow. Our goal is to store all flows. Before that, we need to add new storage. Last thing I want to show you is where the database is stored in the disk at this moment. So let me go to data, unify, go to data again. See, there's a DB folder, right? Go to DB. Then you can see different Mongo databases are stored in different folders. Then our ACE audit is in one of the folder. Okay, and if you want to see which exact disk this folder is in, let me show you DF. Our data folder is here. Default storage comes with the UDM Pro. Okay, so now we are clear about the current status. Then let me add a new disk to the UDM Pro. Okay, 
I have inserted a used hard drive. You can see in the control plane, storage. I need to reformat the disk. Now you can see the status is changed to erasing and preparing storage. If you check the unified network application, you can see it's being restarted. Later you will understand why the network application need to be restarted. In the left side SSH, let me show you the current RAID status. Even though for UDM Pro, it only has one hard drive bay, system still configured a RAID, it's a RAID 1, there's only one disk, you can see only one is up. Then if I show you the DF, you can see the system is still working on the formatting, so I don't have a new file system yet. Now you can see the storage is fully operational. If I go to Updates tab, you can see the network application is restarting. Then in the left side SSH, if I show you the current file system information, see the very last one, MD3, this is the new RAID volume. The mount point is volume 1, right? Remember earlier when we checked the MongoDB database location, it's under Data, Unify, Data again, DB. Not sure whether you see the difference, see this one? The ACE audit, which contains the flow logging data, is showing the special color and there's a at sign. You may know this means now this is a link, it's not a physical folder. So if I show you the detailed information, you can see this ACE audit folder now is pointing to this folder under SRV, right? If I show you the SRV information, See, SRV is another link, it's pointing to volume1.srv. What the system really does after you have a new storage is the system move the original ACE audit database to the new location, to the new hard drive. So in this way, you have tons of new storage just for your flow logging purpose. Of course, if you use Unify Protect in UDM Pro, flow logging will compete on disk space with your Unify Protect application, right? Another thing is remember during the hard drive initialization, the network application was restarted, right? Why was that? Because the MongoDB had big changes. Of course, the network application needed to be restarted. Now we are ready to enable the all traffic setting for flow logging. Let me do that and select all the additional flows. You may notice now I don't have that statement asking me to add additional storage, right? Apply changes. In the left side SSH session, as you can see, I connected to the MongoDB again. You can see the traffic flow collection. The document number is increasing very fast. In the right side, you can see for flows, the default filter is blocked, right? So that's why it's still showing this three blocked traffic we saw previously. But in the lower part, in the VLAN 66, if I do a ping x.com, it's successful, right? Then if I change the filter, to all flows. You can see here two example traffic from the lower part, the VLAN 66 virtual machine. It go to the gateway for DNS to resolve x.com, right? And then it ping the x.com. So you see two flows just because of the lower part, simple ping testing. Okay, because we enabled the additional storage, we have the luxury to capture all flows. Before ending this video, let me show you another scenario. What if you use a cloud key plus a, let's say, UX3 Pro, whether you still have the option to add more storage to enhance the flow traffic logging. So let me show you. Go to settings under cyber secure for traffic logging. You can see there's even no such option for flow logging. Unfortunately, UX3 Pro still doesn't support flow logging yet. There's no point to add a storage. Yeah, this ends the video. Thanks for watching.